Hello and welcome back to the Duke of Scopus Studios here in Geneva. I'm joined today by Mark Capustan from Data Cross Centre. So Mark, welcome back to the studios. Thank you very much. Good morning. So today we're talking about Switzerland. So Switzerland is the banking financial sector. So in your opinion, how has the banking sector evolved? As you know, uh, the world for the banking system around the world has changed recently uh, just because all the countries around the world decided to go for more transparencies and uh, uh, the system, uh, the so-called so se secret system of the uh, banking organizations, mainly in Switzerland and even in other countries, had to change. And recently, and I am one of the, uh, is one of the reason of my being in Switzerland, uh, Switzerland has decided to become, after being the uh, bank of the world, has decided to go for in a different direction, taking into account its reputation, the uh, political stability of the country, the mentality of uh, uh, the Swiss people in general to take benefit of all this big, magnificent, unique reputation around the world and offer to uh, every players in a digital system, in the web or uh, people, companies, people, who are looking for securing their data to become the digital data safety box of the world. What does it mean? It means that everyone is afraid today about the so-called clouds. Everyone has heard about that. Everyone uh, is today, of course, uh, able to produce whatever you name and uh, uh, videos, personal data in the web, the, thanks to all the development of these uh, social networks around the world. And uh, no one today is able to uh, know where its own data is uh, uh, well uh, uh, warehoused or wh where is my data. Where, well, and, and everyone has access to all data around the world today. So the main goal for, ev for anyone today is to secure his data. So your data, for, for, first of all, data for a company is the main asset. Your data as a person, as a person, individual, is your, let's say, your uh, life. If you uh, uh, do something wrong today and you look for a job the day after, uh, let's say, the potential uh, uh, boss that you have has already access to your data and say, okay, sorry, but I mean, you did that you know, and so far and so on. So everything is going in. in it's, it's very complicated to, to secure information today. So if you have this opportunity and the possibility of securing your data in a right place, in a safety place where you show that your data won't go around, okay, where, 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 what, what, where would you, will you do it? Today, plenty, well, the world is unfortunately in the wrong, let's say, going in the wrong direction, unfortunately. There are wars everywhere, there are conflicts everywhere. And, well, if you have this opportunity of securing data in a safety country, in a country like Switzerland, you will do it. And this is uh, the aim of Switzerland to become tomorrow the bank for digital data in the world. One of the reasons we came here and one of the reasons we created the Data Cross Center. And as you can see, the Data Cross Center that we launched has the Swiss logo somewhere around inside. Because we also uh, want to be part of this game if possible. So you've mentioned the data then being online because it's so crucial for businesses and for people individually, but what are the risks of this and how does your business overcome these risks? The risks are, uh, let's say, are uh, coming from different directions. First of all, the, the, the main risk is to host your data in the right place. And in the right place, meaning that, as you know, data center is so-called a bank. 
A bank meaning that, well, once you put your data inside, it's like you're having your money in a bank. You are supposed to be sure that, well, it's well preserved and it won't be, uh, uh, well, there won't be, they won't be accessible to anyone. This is the first point, is a bank. The second point is if you take into account uh, the bank, you have to take into account that the bank is receiving money or the bank has to put money into uh, the uh, uh, corners so that, well, everyone can uh, cash money with its, with its uh, uh, credit card, for instance. So you need to transport this money somewhere. So and there are so-called specialized uh, companies in transporting funds. We were we are offering both expertise, meaning what? So our expertise in the so far was and Data Cross Center today is a spin-off of Advalem Technology, whereby we were the specialist of sports live transmission for televisions. We were able, we work, we have this expertise of transmitting and transporting secured video content for the televisions. Having this expertise, we decided to transfer it into our Swiss business and propose also a secured transport and transmission of data. So we'll offer both businesses the secure transmissions of data plus the hosting of data into a data center. So Mark, how do you incorporate the broadcasting side of things into your current company? Well, to uh, secure the transmission and transport of data, you need to have two expertise. One is what we call the satellite transmission expertise through teleports, which we have in our, in our site in Povale. We have uh, antennas ranging from 2.40 meters to 4.8 meters for what we call the uplink and the downlink of uh, trans satellite transmissions, plus the expertise of uh, uh, transmitting, of managing transmissions through fiber. Our uh, uh, expertise in France was to uh, set up uh, fiber links uh, from our site to all the stadiums. Today, we want to offer the same solutions in Switzerland by offering secure transmissions for fiber around the world. We have partners in uh, uh, the States. We have partners in uh, uh, Far East and Australia. And we have, of course, we secure our partnership outside ourselves in Europe and we have partners in Africa. So based on that, we are able to offer 250 POPs point of presence through a fiber network around the world and secure transmissions around the world. One of the main points for uh, of the main difficulty for uh, uh, transmissions is the way is the time frame of the transmission from point A to point B. This is the main difficulty that you face first. You have to find the best solution to secure the lowest uh, time difference between point E and point B. This is one point. The second point is the uh, security of the transmission through encryption or uh, through uh, the right uh, uh, networks that you uh, offer to your customer so that you, you be sure that well your data are not going around in the network which is not secured by yourself and the third one is uh, on top of that the security that you offer not only through the main uh, transmission but also as with a backup transmission you have always to secure two routes either through two fiber routes or one fiber and one satellite route but you have always to secure the system and we offer we are able to offer both of them so mark thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today it was a pleasure having you back in the studios Thank you very much for your invitation and again, congratulations for your TV. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. And thank you for watching. For all the latest Jugoscopy updates and interviews, do keep clicking back. Goodbye for now.